Hey guys, what's going on? Reed Men of Pudis, and it's time to let you guys know we have some updates. So, right, this is going to be a double mod reveal special. So, right, the two mods you've seen me do in the past Traveler's Mod, and on top of that, Make It Possible Mod, they are back. They have been updated for 1.6.2, and they are awesome. Let's start with Traveler's Mod. I'm gonna show and here I'm gonna show you guys what's been going on in this mod. But of course we're gonna go over it. It's going to be awesome. I pre-spawned this world. Just show you guys what it's been doing. Now as you see already, compared to the previous video, they haven't spawned like every three blocks. Instead, they're sparse. Like this is the infamous watchtower. And I know over here, because I pre-explored this area, is the tree farm and as you know with the spawning of structures in minecraft things the structures spawn after the world is already generated so yeah it's gonna spawn into some things and all this stuff oh as you see torches broke off no no all right now let's see if we can find any more structures real quick, just by flying off in this direction. Oh, here we go. Another tree spawner. See if you can fly. Oh, here it is. This is the, um... Oh, come on, let me down. This is the, what people consider the useless gravel farm. I mean, flint farm. It was, a. Uh, Basis idea was a better way to uh, get gravel. I mean, get uh, flint. Or at least a better way to stack it up so you can get better flint. Alright, let's see if we can find one more structure. Because as you know, there are a ton in this mod that I can't even show you. Also, for those of you who are wondering, yes, the blocks have been removed. In fact, I'll prove it by going into the blocks. As you see, no new blocks. No blocks from my mod, from the, no blocks, no blocks from the previous version are in here anymore. I gave them all the boot because I did not love them. They were not my children. I did not love them. And as you see here, we have the infamous three by three farm. Right, little three by three farm I spawned. And one last one. One last new structure before I cut to the make it possible mod clip. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, oh, here we go. That's right. We have the enchanting room up in this piece. They're all just about to, they have the same spawning chance. I just changed it up a bit. Oh, give it that. And as you see, there's this too. And the chests like to face different directions. Well, that's because when you spawn a block, it it's spawned to face one direction, one direction only. The fact that it changes positions when a player places it is different. Uh, is a different setup. So yeah, I'm just talking in jargon. <laughs> jargon. Also, I was really hoping I could find the mining. I oh, here's one I wanted to show you. Last one I want to show you guys before I cut to the cut the clip. This is the cobblestone generator. Right, it's a naturally spawned one. With uh, with this setup, it's with these new structures, giant tree. It makes it easier for you to. Well, first of all, this is gonna be awesome right here. With watchtowers, you can easily find a place to hide out, chill while your enemies are looking for you. Like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm up here. Snipe them all out. Yep. And then, uh, now that I've done that, well, that's about it, guys. I mean, this mod just adds structures into your world to help you survive. Some free houses, some uh, some real nice stuff. Like, cobblestone, this isn't all of it, because you've all seen the prefect. Just to prove you, I'm going to show you guys everything that spawns naturally. Go down here. Right before I, before I cut the clip to the next mod. Ignore this. Completely ignore this. This was a mob spawner that was going to be in the mod. That was going to be like super rare. Like ultra rare. But yeah. I can't make mob grinders.
I'm trying to make the world's smallest mob grinder. That didn't work out. These are all the things. Besides that building, these are all the things you, could, you should expect to see in your world. This is called the Miner's Outpost. And I was going to have it set to spawn underground, but yeah, I kind of suck at making them spawn in caves. Yeah, basically the idea of this is a safe haven for uh, to do your to do your work. Uh, three tiers of houses. This one's really good for hiding. That way you can uh, only has this stuff. I added more stuff as you went up in tiers. Like wood house is the highest tier because unlike that one, this has a double chest. I think I had two. No, only one furnace. I was gonna add two furnaces, but I was like, yeah, too much. So you've seen almost everything else. This is just all the stuff. Besides that, I did not add that. That was terrible. This is all the stuff you should expect to see in the mod. I noticed that this, this, and this are the hardest to spawn. That makes it very rare. This, however, likes to spawn everywhere. Although the watchtower is useful. Just snipe everyone. And then, uh, yeah, that should about cover it. So now I'm going to cut to the next clip in which I will be showing you guys the a brand new version of the Make It Possible mod. And I will see you guys in about a sec. Alright, and we are back. Because I like to sing. Is it daytime? Let's change that. I preset a command block. Set time to zero. Now, in this, you remember this, to make a possible mod. A very simple mod that added, allowed you to compress your cobblestone four times. Allowed you to have a crafting recipe for the command block. And craft another star. But what's this? Da, 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 da. I spent a very large amount of time adding six new items. All of which pertain to two new weapons, the, fl the nunchucks and the flail. But we'll get to those in a second. This is where I have to go through everything, because for the people who haven't been here before, who are watching this video for the first time, we welcome you. Except for you, Norton. No one likes you. Get out of my video. Get out. Get out. No, fine, fine. Sorry about that. Norton likes to be a jerk. And interrupt my videos. Anyway, guys, this is level one compressed cobblestone. The recipe is simply nine cobblestone. It's cobblestone le level two. This is level two. Simply level ones. Level threes. Level th can be made but that way. The highest you can go is level four, and those are compressed by level threes. I wanted to do uh, like infinite, like all the way up to level 10 or something, but no one makes that much cobblestone. Unless you have an auto automatic cobblestone generator, then that's a different story. Anyway, here's the command block recipe for those of you that forgot it. It's uh, four wool, four diamond, and one redstone block. I like to make things expensive because, well, it's my mod. And I say, make it overpowered if it is overpowered. Okay, and nether star. Y'all know this, so it's either beat the wither or collect this. One emerald, four diamonds, and four blocks of quartz. That way you don't have to waste your time trying to kill the wither and blow up your world. I'm being helpful. And the iron nugget. Iron nugget. This is actually one of my more prouder items because... When after I made it, I was like, oh, I must use this in other mods, and I will. I was going to make this a mob drop of zombies, but frankly, I can't do that because there's no button for it in the program I use. Alright, so it's a shapeless recipe of one iron ingot. You can do the same thing reversed, like you can have nine of these make an iron ingot, and one iron ingot makes nine of these. That's simple. Then here's this. The chain piece. I know it looks so fancy. So fancy. The chain piece is going to be used in the rest of these recipes. The chain piece is made by four iron nuggets in this fashion. 
Uh, and this is the chain and stick. Just uh, it's a, it's an item. You need a stick and chain piece. And you also this is the flail head. It's gonna be used to make your flail. I didn't put in the recipe for the flail head. You know, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, that fixes that problem. Like I was saying, guys, this is the uh, flail head. You're gonna need this for the best weapon ever, the flail. And let me show you how it works. Just uh, five iron ingots and four flint. Set up like this, get this. Yes. Yeah. And here's the nunchucks, a uh, relatively weak weapon, but gets the job done. Just two chain of sticks, it's a shapeless recipe, you don't have to worry. And then here comes the... Uh, seriously, you're ruining my moments, Norton. This is the flail. Bat, it's a bad boy. This thing is tough, I'm not even joking, I made it powerful, but not too powerful. All you need is the flail head, chain piece, and a chain and stick. Now, let me show you this. Keep in mind, let me find some chickens. Actually, yeah, I like to, like, uh, I like to practice on chickens more, because, let's see, chicken, 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 here we go. Chickens are easier to experiment with. Remember, chickens have four health. And here's this. That does four damage. Not even counting crit hits. This? Just about the same. So yes, they are both very powerful. Anyway, guys. I really hope you enjoyed both mods. A link to them will be in the description. They are hosted by, it is hosted on my website, readman.weebly.com. Feel free to go there and check out other mods I've made that aren't Pudis related either, like stuff like that. And that should about cover it, guys. Anyway, I really hope you do um, enjoy this mod. And, and, of course, the Traveler's mod. Because that just got a lot, because that got a lot better. Thanks to some rigging to the spawn radius. And that should about do it for the day. If you guys like, comment, subscribe to the Pudas Network. Join the, join our, join our brotherhood of people. Don't know what it is. We haven't come up with a subscribing phrase yet. Hey guys, we'll see you later.